white women are now appropriating and claiming head textures of black women, claiming that they have for see hair. We are also looking at white women, again, and they are everywhere doing all sorts of things. Busy bees, I tell you, they, they don't get tired. So African spirituality is now a trend for them and they just can't get their hands off of it. Let's get into it. Should you move to the UK? No. Should you move to Ireland? Uh, yes, absolutely. I have so many questions, but first of all, are those not chicken bones? <laughs> <clears throat> These bones. These are bones from like drumsticks, right? <laughs> Oh my god my stomach or maybe turkey bones because these bones are big or vultures <laughs> what bones are these where did you get them from mom amazon do they sell bones <laughs> like imagine culture vultures using vulture bones <laughs> have you met your soulmate yes you have i'm seeing the letter either N or possibly M, if that means anything to you. Wait, 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 wait. What did I miss? Like, you literally cannot even blink. Because before you open your eyes, these people are doing something. You are like, uh-uh, when did this happen? I beg you. Is this not the same practice that these people told us was demonic? Is it, is it not it that is this? I be, what am I seeing? What am I looking at, really? Like, these people literally copy everything. They tell you that everything about you is bad and then you turn around and you see that that's exactly what they are doing now. They've done it with hair, they do it with skin, they do it with every single freaking thing. Like, the hell? After convincing Africans that this is bad and now they are doing it. Oh, now it's no longer demonic because it's white people that's doing it. You know, this trend, eh? It's a style meal. I'm like so freaking tired of this trend where if we are doing it, there is a problem. But then when they do it, when they pick it up, when they appropriate, when they steal, it's okay. It's not demonic anymore. It's not backward or uncivilized or dirty or whatever nasty names that they used to describe us when we were doing it and our practices. Now it's, now it's okay. But who's sending messages through the bones though? What ancestors are sending messages through these bones? I mean, where are the bones from? But what ancestors know how to send messages? Your ancestors have no connection to these practices. So who is sending the messages and giving the answers for you to read through the bones? Who? You literally have no connection to this practice. Literally no connection to this practice. Like, what, what, what is this? So white people are out here calling on their ancestors. Which one? From which time exactly? Which, which ancestors? The fact that these people believe that their ancestors are in heaven. First of all, let's talk about that. <laughs> they even call them beloved ancestors. <laughs> Your ancestors are not beloved. This comment says they will copy anything. They don't even acknowledge extended family, but now calling ancestors. Shake my head, I swear. This white lady told me about how the drum class she had was about her ancestors, etc. And they were African drums. Dead. What I want to know is what could they possibly want to discuss with their ancestors? What could they possibly want to talk to the ancestors for? They want tips on how to do more terrible things or they want to ask their ancestors to save them a seat in hell. W what exactly? These people turn everything into a trend and I cannot say I'm surprised that they are doing this with spirituality. And they just look stupid doing it. I have 4C hair. My father was North African. My mom is whiter than Casper. Lady, don't ever in your white life disrespect us like that again. Just stop it. They colonizing everything. First it was twerking, it was box braids, it's rap music, it's the way we talk. Now they colonizing hair textures.
if we are not careful and deliberate and put our legs firmly on the ground, especially us here on the continent who are still living in this bubble, not understanding how the world works, a day is going to come we are not going to own anything that was once ours. Not what's left of it at this point. Absolutely nothing would belong to us. Because if right underneath our noses, with our memory still sharp, with us still remembering history, these people are laying claims to things that don't belong to them, to things that they demonized and acting like they didn't do any of these things. If these people are inserting themselves in spaces right before our noses, right now, if we are not careful in pushing these people out, if we are not deliberate about saying no, a time would come, nothing would belong to us. And that is scary. The crazy thing is, we already know what these people have done and how they've claimed things that did not belong to them until today they did not return it. And we still continue to be kumbaya in here. I'm like, what are we doing? What exactly are we freaking doing? Africans, protecting what is ours is not a bad thing. Making sure your doors are locked is a good thing. It's about time we start listening to African-Americans. They've been telling us forever. It's about time we start listening. They've been doing this forever. And unfortunately, it's not going to stop here. It's not just going to stop at them appropriating hair and them taking on spirituality, African spirituality. We have to protect ourselves. Build our fences high. That's not a bad thing to do for our protection, for our survival, for our continuous existence. This is a necessity and I hope we one day see it. Culture is meant to be shared. Culture is meant to be shared. This is not sharing of culture. This started originally as the annihilation of our culture. And after they had annihilated a good chunk of it, they are coming back to take over what's left. We don't have the time. You see the time on the screen? It's a sign. There is no time. And we are wasting the one we have. To my African-American brothers and sisters, you guys have been staying on their necks and you guys have been doing it gracefully. And I want to say good job. Like, good job. It's so sad we didn't start listening to you guys on time, but we'll keep up now. My hair is strong enough to break a comb. Have you ever broken a comb? Have you ever broken a brush? Black women have. I cannot tell y'all how many times a day I get comments like this about my type 4 hair, but the same brittle bandits that's talking about my hair being bad hair or women with type 4 hair having bad hair have three strands of hair in their head. You wet their hair and it disappears. And they always use these same talking points about our hair being couch stuffers or how they used our hair to scrub pots and clean kitchens. Okay, you're not doing nothing but proving that our hair has been better than yours. Your hair is thin, brittle, and useless. We have hair, you have fur. Until your hair rises towards the sun and until your hair is strong enough to break a comb, there isn't a damn thing you can tell me about the beautiful coils that grow out my scalp.